Hello everyone, Alan here from the Wild Rift team, ready to share another look at what you can expect from us over the next couple of months. Before we get into what's coming up, October 27th marks a year since we first entered our regional open beta. A lot has changed in the past year, and we wanted to take a quick look back on the journey that we've taken so far. Thanks for joining us in our first year. It's surely been a wild ride, but we're just getting started. We have a ton of exciting stuff in the pipeline for the upcoming year, and look forward to when we can unveil all of it to you. Now, let's talk about the upcoming patch 2.5. 2.5 brings a whole host of updates to Wild Rift, including new champions. Vagar, the tiny master of evil, is making his villainous debut in a few days' time. A master of the dark arts, Vagar rains destruction and doom upon his enemies, both as a mid laner and as a support. With his wicked crowd control, you can chip away at your foes before delivering the final blow with a devastating primordial burst. If you're looking to lay down the law, then set your sights on the Piltover Sheriff, Caitlyn. With wits as sharp as her aim, Caitlyn enforces justice in the Dragon Lane. Set traps for your enemies and execute them with your ultimate, Ace in the Hole. The Sheriff of Piltover enters Wild Rift in November. Joining Caitlyn on the Rift is Jace, the Defender of Tomorrow. Ruling the Baron Lane with his trusty Hextech invention, Jace can switch between the Mercury Hammer and the Mercury Cannon to smash or blast his way to victory. Power up with Jace starting in November. Patch 2.5 brings some spicy gameplay updates. For starters, we're adding a second Rift Herald spawning later in the game to draw more attention to the Baron side of the map. We're hoping that this will accomplish a few things. Give players an objective to take before Baron, encourage more team fights that aren't focused at Dragon, and increase the individual carry power of a player since Herald can be taken solo. Rift Herald will also deal more damage to turrets as well as take more damage when it headbutts them. To accommodate for two Rift Heralds, we're delaying Baron's initial spawn time while its respawn time remains unchanged. This means Rift Herald can be captured twice before Baron enters the map. We're also increasing the time it takes for non-buff camps to respawn while improving the gold they offer. We hope this makes farming the jungle feel less hectic. Patch 2.5 comes with one of our most important and fun features yet. Katarina, take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Katarina and I am so excited to talk about guilds. So, you play a few games here and there with your friends, but you wish you could do more. Wild Rift is at its best when you're playing with the people you care about. With guilds, we're giving you a new way to progress together and earn sweet rewards while doing it. Head over to the Guild tab once you're level 9 to create your own guild and invite your friends. Together, you can start your journey towards earning exclusive rewards. Creating a guild will cost 400 Poro coins or 200 wild cores, so players don't create one on a whim. When you create a guild, you'll be able to customize its name, tag, icon, and more. Your guild's name and icon will be displayed in plenty of places, such as your profile page, matchmaking banner, and on the leaderboards. If your friend wants to run the show, you can join theirs instead when they send you a nifty invite. You might be curious what's been going on at the Guild while you've been grinding away. Just access the feed to stay up to date on your friends' activities. Here, you can see your Guild's open parties and social shares. Express your reaction to the news with emotes. Want to brag about your latest Baron steal or line up your next 5 stack? Head to the Guild chat, where you'll find a dedicated space to you and your Guildmates to communicate. 
Once you've settled in, you can play with your guildies and earn extra blue modes and XP, all while racking up points to earn special rewards. We want guilds to be safe places for players to socialize. After all, the fun can only be had when players treat each other fairly. Leaders will be able to manage their guild and ensure the environment remains friendly and welcoming. Nominated officers will also be able to help keep the peace. Additionally, players will be able to report offensive guild names, tags, and descriptions. These tools should help you and your friends make sure everyone's having a good time. Before I hand it back to Alan, I want to tell you one more thing. As our biggest social feature yet, we designed the guild system as a place for players to gather and forge friendships. And what better way to strengthen those bonds than through some fiery competition? That's where Guild vs. Guild comes in. In GVG, you and another guild fight on opposing sides of a champion rivalry. You'll see some interactions between that week's champions to set the stage for the oncoming fight. To win a GVG matchup, your guild has to collectively earn more supplies than your opponents. The guild with the most supplies at the end of the week wins glory for their side and some cool rewards. But more on those later. So how do you earn supplies? Each week has four community missions, most of which require teaming up with other guildmates and playing games of Wild Rift together. Everyone in the guild can contribute to these missions throughout the week. And like any good team fight, there's strength in numbers. The more guildmates you play with, the more supplies you earn. Now, here's where it gets spicy. At the start of the week, all players are given a role for the battle ahead. Half of you are considered armed and ready to fight for the cause. The other half are unarmed and will need a helping hand. If you're unarmed, no problem. Just play a game with an armed guildmate to get access to all your rewards. If you're armed, do your part to bring as much of your guild as you can into the fray. The more armed players at the end of the week, the higher your total supplies. If you had a rough start early in the week, don't worry. There's one more thing you can do to claim victory. You can still come out on top by committing sabotage. Every Friday, the guild with a smaller pile of supplies has the unique opportunity to sabotage their opponent. Sabotaging is a sneaky, last-ditch effort to reduce your opponent's final score, and all you have to do is play games with your guild. But sabotaging isn't easy. It requires a full power of friendship, so only five stacks of guildies can contribute to a sabotage. The winning team has a chance to defend these shenanigans by playing with their own groups of five to maintain their place at the top. At the end of the week, we total up your guild supplies from completed missions with a bonus based on how many of your team are armed and ready, and factoring in any sneaky sabotages. And the side with the most supplies at the end wins that week of GVG. By participating in GVG, you and your guild will earn unique rewards, such as new ways to customize guilds, bubbles, player emblems, poro coins, and more. So, it's a lot, we know. We're hoping this will be second nature once you're in the middle of the action. We've been working on guilds for a while now, so we're super excited for you and your friends to dive in. Now, back to Ellen to tell you about all the other cool stuff coming to Wild Rift. Now that ARAM is a permanent mode in Wild Rift, we're looking forward to continuously supporting the mode from here on out. All random, all mid is perfect for players who want to jump right into the action. ARAM is all about fast games, non-stop team fighting, while giving you a lower stakes way to test out champs that you don't play quite as often. Newly added from the last test run, Scryer's Blooms will soon appear in the Howling Abyss 2. We're aiming to have a new wild pass in each patch. Later this month, you'll be able to get your hands on a brand new pass featuring Hexplorer Tristana. To give you a better understanding of the differences between the basic pass and the premium pass, we've updated how rewards are displayed. More rewards are also being added to the free pass track. Let's talk about matchmaking in Wild Rift. Ever since the open beta began, we know matchmaking has been a pain point for players. And while we've been constantly tweaking things behind the scenes, we're making some sizable changes to improve your matches in patch 2.5. We're now going to base your games entirely on your matchmaking rating and not your rank. This will make matches much fairer overall. This change means players will sometimes see a wider rank gap in their games, such as an Emerald player in a Master Tier game. 
When this happens, the lower ranked player will have an icon on their loading screen card to indicate that they've been playing at a skill level above their rank. It's there to help you trust that you're being matched with and against equally skilled players. We're also tightening the gap behind the scenes on who can match together in the same game. We want you to trust that our matchmaking system is pitting you against players of similar skill while keeping your queue time short and ensuring that you can play at the position you want. Keep an eye out for a dev blog later this month that deep dives into these matchmaking upgrades. In our mission to improve your experience with each patch, we're making some other quality of life changes in patch 2.5 as well. We've given the share screens a visual upgrade. Now your accomplishments will look even sweeter when you show them off to your friends. For players looking to share their live gameplay, we're adding a feature that allows you to immediately begin streaming on Twitch. Now you can connect with your viewers with a simple tap. As most of you know by now, a new patch means new skins. To kick things off, take a look at the Dragon Mancers. These are powerful mortals, fortunate enough to have gained the ultimate blessing from dragons. Whether they use that for good or evil is up to them. These skins will land in Wild Rift later this month, where you can check them out in the Way of the Dragomancer event. Patch 2.5 is packed with new skins beyond events too. Let's take a quick peek at some other skins headed your way. Before we go, we're looking forward to diving deeper into the world of Piltover and Zorn to celebrate Arcane, our animated show launching November 6 on Netflix globally and Tencent Video in China. We'll have a themed event and so much more in store, so stay tuned. Thanks for joining us for another look at what's on the horizon for Wild Rift, and I'll see you next time.